A new, more contagious Omicron subvariant of coronavirus now makes up at least 72% of all recorded infections across the United States. And in at least eight states, the case numbers that were leveling off are now going up. We still have a lot of risk, as I noted today. We just, we just have millions of people that don't have optimal coverage right now. We've just witnessed that people who were infected with Delta didn't end up having a lot of immunity to Omicron. So, you know, I would urge people again, you know, go ahead, get vaccinated, uh, even if you were infected. 75% of Californians have been fully vaccinated, well above the 65% national average. But data from its largest county, Los Angeles, shows that only about one in three residents in its most vulnerable communities have had a booster shot at a time when the second booster is already available. And they basically targeted two vulnerable populations, the uh, adults older than 50 years of age and then those who are immunocompromised for the BioNTech 12 and older for the Moderna vaccine uh, 18 years and older. Despite warnings about the new subvariant, life appears to be returning to normal. Just over the last month, Los Angeles has been relaxing its COVID-19 restrictions by lifting its mask mandate and proof of vaccination requirement in indoor establishments, leading to a sense of normality we really haven't seen since the beginning of the pandemic. But some public health experts have a warning. This pandemic is not over. It's highly likely we're going to see another rise in cases. How steep that's going to be, no one can, can say at this point. But I think to assume that this pandemic is over, to act like it's over, is not only putting you at risk, but it puts others at risk as well. California is not expected to return to tougher restrictions, but vaccinating its residents with a booster remains an uphill battle. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.